DP and Progress. How to how to use next? Uh, no, just press the button. I think you just press the button. See, it's not too much. Press the button. How do you press? Today, I will not talk about progress is good or progress is good. Uh, sorry, I will not talk about which database is, be is better. Because if I tell you progress is better or MariaDB is better, if it will, of course, start another framework. Like VIM and Emax, I do not want to start a framework today. This I will not tell you. But today, I will cover some internal structure, the comparison of the internal structure of MariaDB and ProgressDB, and I will tell you why this difference in internal structure affect our, our usage on, on this database. If, luckily, if I have time, I will talk about the replication. How MariaDB and Progress different in, in their way of replication? Let's start now. B3, B3. I want to ask how many people haven't heard about this, this word? One, one only. Not that. B has three. Before I go, go deep into the, the, the structure of progress and maybe DB, I want, to, I want to let all people remember B3 first. B3 is a data structure of every now, nowadays relational database, database. Why? Because in, database, in, in, the, in modern database, it's quite often we have billions of records in a database and we want to perform a very quick search by, by, by their primary key to, to, locate, to locate the record. And this, we need a dictionary structure to support our operation. And B3 is, our, is, is the data structure to support this operation. Why? Because B3 supports concurrent update. First, B3 supports concurrent update. For example, if I want to update record one, I, the database will have perform page log on, on this record, on, on this data block. If, if there is another user, he want to update record five, the database will perform rec page log for th this data block. This, it, it means that if different users, they are using different data block, they can perform concurrent operation to maximize the performance. Secondly, B3 is a, a shadow tree. Although our exam, the example we use here, one data block store only, only three records. However, in modern database, the branching factor is about at least 1,000 to about one, between 1,000 to 10,000. It means that if you have a B3 of if of four, you can store one billion one billion record with with four diff diff le level. It means that to locate even if even your your database have one billion record in a table, you need to travel for you you need to travel one two three four four step to locate the exact record, which is quite high, which is quite efficient. However, I want, I want everyone to pay attention to one technical keyword, balanced. I used balanced, not even distributed. Balanced means that in a tree, F3, Every need no, they are in the same diff level. The definition is just that only. But balanced is not precisely equal to even distributed. For example, some some need no, maybe maybe have a lot of record, but some need no, may have 
just a, a small amount of record. I will not go too deep into this topic, but I want to. I want you to, if you have have interest, I want you to Google it yourself. And then, after let everyone remember what is BP, I will introduce the index organized table as hip organized table. <coughs> table the table structure. <coughs> although although most users do not do not need to take care what exactly the data structure is is using by the database, I'm just I must what I must say that <coughs> in no matter in progress or in we in very deep database, they use they they use <coughs> BPS tree to to store their the structure. The only difference is but very deep database they store the they rec they store the record directly in the in the lift node. But pro progress, they store the data in a, in another hip area. I will show you some slides to talk about it. Here is a sample data, and you can imagine it's user users table. Here is an example of MariaDB. The whole structure is a beta tree. You can see that the lift node, the raw data is stored in lift node and in an organized way. One, two, three, four, five. In a very organized way. Here is how Mary did that base they store the actual data. However, in progress, this one is the B has tree. In the NIF node, only the only the primary key is stored. And, and yeah. <coughs> besides the primary key, the location of the location of the record is stored. You can see in in the hip area in the hip area <coughs> the data is unorganized is quite is you can see that it's in a quite random way. But you you will want to ask why? I I will show you some use case to tell you why why this structure why this structure affect affect our our usage. Maria D B Almost, almost all textbook teach about MariaDB. They will teach you using auto, in, auto, auto increment as as the primary key. But does anyone wonder why we should use auto increment instead of natural key or UUID? Because because of the internal data structure. If we use auto increment. And because because the record is stored in a in a in an orderly way sequentially, if we use auto increment such monotonic increasing sequence, all the rec all the new record will go to will go to that data block. It means that if you perform in continuous e insert, the database just create a new record. Sorry, create a new data block for new record create a new data block for new record, the insert performance is fast. And <coughs> another point is <coughs> in Maria in Maria database <coughs> the secondary index they they start they, they start the primary key rec they, they store the primary key on the NIF node. It means that if you use auto increment as, as the primary key, your 
secondary index will have minimum size because integer have only four bytes. But if you store natural key, for example, Peter, Tom, Alexander, you will have a large, you will have a larger secondary key if you have any secondary key. <coughs> progress. In progress, although many many people they switch from MySQL MySQL or MariaDB to progress, they will continuously use use auto quick increment or some sequence as the as the primary key. But many people in progress they will use natural key or UUID. Why? Because in, in the world of progress, use concurrent co concurrency is our major is, is our major concern. If we use natural key and use UUID, usually it's in an unordered way. It means that all insert, all update, it will scattered among the uh, it will scattered among the B tree. It means that different people, different flag, they are unlikely to hit the to, to hit the same diff loop in the same time. To, it means that so the system concurrency will be higher. But what it can be directly translated to, it means that if we install better hardware, progress will usually scale up linearly. While while my real BDB or my SQL, they will they will have some they, they, it will have some limitation of, on the scaling scalability. Why? Because <coughs> if you use if you use MariaDB and you use index organized table, all the rec all the new record go to go to this data data block, right? It means that all the record, all the all the insert, they must wait for a page log in that data block. And the 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 update performance the, the physical update performance of this data block will affect your will affect your insert performance. No matter no matter no matter how many how many hard disks you insert, you have you you have in your hard, in your system. The performance of this data block is, is the is, is the final bottleneck. But in progress because because we use heap tab heap organized table and we use UUID the ins the insert is the insert is scattered um, among this area and also scattered at this area. If your if your hard disk ha have high pe performance on random write, your your concurrency will be will be very very high. <coughs> Next, in in, po in progress SQL, in sec in progress SQL, the secondary index, they are not storing the primary key. Instead, it is storing just the location of the heap area. It means that no matter you, no matter your primary key is auto is an integer or is a natural key, for example Alexander the Great, it does not matter. It's the, the it is not related to the size of the secondary key. <coughs> Secondly, I want to talk about MariaDB range scan. Um, for example, it's a common situation. Your boss asks that, uh, Triton, I want to I, I want to have us have a sum up of the purchase purchase order of last financial year. In in MariaDB, how can you achieve this report? Usually, we use usually we <coughs> that record can have millions of records. How can we do it in efficient way? We can we we can by some means by 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 guess or by by some p record to to locate the the first rec the first auto increment. The, the primary key of this financial year stock 
and also the the primary key of this financial year end. And then we perform brain scan. For example, the rec the 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 record with ID between one o one two three four and between two two thousand. In Mary DB, the range scan is very high performance. I will show you later. But in progress, the range scan is is low performance. I will show you later. <coughs> for example, if I want to perform range scan on the primary key on Mary DB, for example, I want I want to perform range scan from ID four to six. How can how can we achieve it? How Maria DB handle it? It will it will travel from the wood node, and then go, and then, for, try to work, farm out the number four record in this nip node, and then he just need to the Maria DB just need to perform a sequential scan in sequential scan in the hard disk to four five until he reach the last record number six. And then it's finished. Everyone knows we copy a large file is much faster. We copy one thousand tidy file because because hard disk is optimized for a large sequential scan instead of a a big number of range random scan. This MariaDB have a very high performance because it involves a big range scan. A big sequential scan on hard disk only. However, how about in progress? <coughs> if <coughs> if the if the ring if progress estimate think that your ring scan involves only a tiny amount of record, for he will <coughs> it will only perform it will look up the it will look up the B three to look. To locate all the location of of the of the hip of 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 the hip space, for example, four, five, six, and then random scan, when random look up, sorry, random I O on on this <coughs> this and this hip space, which is low. If there is a large amount of random I O, this if if in progress, if you. If the progress think you are performing a range scan on a large amount of record, it will directly give up this B3 structure and perform a total full full table scan on hip area. And this, if your if your table involve one thousand years of record, and you need to only farm out one one financial years of record. It will quite slow because of all record in it is involved, and this usually in 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 the world of progress, if you want to use progress, and you need to some perform some reporting, usually you have two option. The first option is you build up master and master slave replication, and you perform the reporting on the slave on the slave, or you perform. Some time-based, time-based data partitioning. It means that, for example, in in our in our situ in our this example, you perform data you perform data partitioning and store the and store different financial years records into different table. But it involves a lot of tasks and it may affect your program. It It may involve extra coding in your in your system. Third, I will talk about record update. In Maria in Maria DB, because the record is stored in the NIF node, and because the NIF node is in a, in a in an ordered way of Structure. The 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 new version of the of the record must be stored in the exact location of of the original record. Otherwise, you have to perform data. You have if if the if the data block do not have enough free space, you 
Mary their Mary and their base have to perform pay split. I would I wouldn't go too, too deep about the how how pay pay split or page merge affect the performance of Maria DB, but you can you can Google it. You I I I truly suggest it suggest you use to Google it and to avoid page split and page merge. And if you are DBA and concerning about performance, you should you should read more about field factor, table field factor. It affect both map, both map, my Maria DB and Progress SQL. <sighs> However, in Progress SQL, because the record is stored in heap area and in a in an unordered way, if the if there is any update, the Progress SQL just need to farm just to farm a uh, uh, fee, fee space in the in the hip area and then update the beach and then update the B tree pointer to, to the new location. This this and this all and this usually for a large update system po progressive code will usually have a higher performance. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Before I go to the next section, I would like to talk about more about update <laughs> to maintain the high performance and also for the for the beauty of benchmark. I'm not saying something like both Maria database and Progress database. They do not clean up the old, the old version of the record immediately. Otherwise, the performance will be slow. And in MariaDB, in order to clamp the in order to clamp the fee space back to their database and keep the, and clean up the old record, both Mary Maria the, the DB and Progress they use some back some after 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 task. In MariaDB, it is called back and purge back, and in Progress, it is called welcome. And I must. If you are not, if you are not DBA, and if you do not know what is it, do not do. I say, I say again, do not up, do not change this configuration. Otherwise, you will have some serious effect. For example, data data loss or low slow performance. <coughs> Luckily, I have time about to talk a little bit about replication. How many times are there? Hmm? One ten now. Oh, is is time up? Uh, give me, please give me five five minutes more. Rep what is replication? In movies law, every every everything can go down. It will go down, and sometime when this they will. They, they will put up some stack in, in the server rack <laughs> to pay for the server to not go down. But being a re responsible engineer, you should not you should not use this way. And we build up replicate we build up replication to part to relay all the all all the change in the master in the slave in to keep the data between master and slave in a synchronized way. Even the master go down. We can immediately switch all the traffic go to the slave to remain the surface online. This is the principle of replication. In in replication, there is there is no major way. First is statement based replication. It means that all statement happened in the master is passed to the to the is sent to the to the slave and the slave just just replay that replication. This this strategy is used by MariaDB MySQL. However, there is another way of replication called block block based replication. It means that after after you have five, after you have run a statement, the database will record which which area in the in your hard disk is updated, and then. 
the database just send the updated area, the new version of the updated area, send it to the send it to the slave, and the slave just use this the, use the new data to read. Shit, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I apologize. <laughs> and the slave and the and the database use the new data to replace the. the the old data in the hard disk to keep the data synchronized. Which one is better? It depends. In, same, in, in statement based replication, usually it has lower bandwidth requirement because no matter you update one record or you update one million record, the database only send the compressed the compressed statement between from, from master to, sl to slave, and it, the, 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 ba the bandwidth requirement is usually is lower. Usually, why is important? You can imagine if you are Facebook, if you are Uber, you have data, you have data center across the ocean. Your bandwidth, your, your bandwidth charge is high, and you, you, they have to minimum the, the bandwidth between different data center. However, what is the advantage of block-based replication? Is no matter if there is, even there is some bit even if there is some data corruption between the network, or there is some data corruption in in your slave storage, <coughs> when there is our when when there is update on master, such. Such data corruption on, on your slave will be replaced by new data, and this the, sla the, the data corruption in slave will not be replicated if as long as there is continuously update in the in the in the ma in the master. <coughs> and this, if you if you are bank, you need to make your data be one hundred percent correct. Usually. Usually, block-based replication is your first choice because because your your error will not be accumulated in in the system. In conclusion, I will not tell you which database is bad, which the, which database is good. However, I I do hope you to Google it yourself to to analyze your requirement. I do you. Do you want <coughs> do you want to maintain minimum architecture and do and do the reporting on the master instead in, instead of state? Do you prefer UID or your your application layer have mandatory requirement to use auto increment? Do you need to have replication across the ocean? Do you need to maintain high, high data consistency or your data must be absolutely correct? And lastly, do you need to write complex code? Currently, currently my, my SQL and progress, they, their SQL standard is only, only remain in SQL 1999. However, pro, however progress is equal standard is about two o o h. It means that if you write complex code, you need to write win. You you want to use window function for for analysis. Sorry, in MariaDB you can't. You have to do it yourself. That's all for my today's presentation. I wish you after this presentation, you can Google it yourself to fur to further learn about the difference between two database. Thank you. Uh, a few points. About the UUID natural key, mm. uh, if you use UUID as the primary key in your table, mm. yes, the problems you mentioned will exist. But a lot of users what they do is they flip the bits in the sense that UUID is seconds, hours, 
months and year, right? Mm. So you can actually write a stored procedure which will flip the bits. Oh. Okay. And hence, when you do that, the years come to the beginning, and that allows you to have better indexes. Yes, and is a built-in feature in Oracle. It's called Invent Primary Key. I, I do not accept. Yeah, now MySQL is providing that with a function called UUID to binary. So maybe that is a solution for that problem. The other thing about marking records which have been updated or deleted. Yes. Uh, that InnoDB calls it delete marking. Mm. So it is not just for bench, uh, benchmarking purpose. The reason is that a lot of times the way DMLs work is that they delete a record, but within a few seconds they come back and insert the same record again. Okay, so it would be nice if that record totally went away and a new record came in. But you know, DB does something even better where they essentially delete mark a record, which they say they have a bit that says this has been delete marked in the future. It will I, I, I understand. But within certain time, before your purge thread comes in, if an insert happens, it doesn't have to do the full insert. It just needs to go and mark that record. Uh, it, it is a joke only. <laughs> it is a joke only. I, ah, okay. it, it has a delete line. No, there's a purpose for it. Okay. That, that's what I was trying to say. And um, yeah, I really liked your uh, presentation. Thank you. Anyway, uh, uh, because I don't think we have any time for any questions. Yes, we are. Uh, you're running late. Yeah. We actually so turn into the next presentation presenter yeah. already. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, please take it uh, offline. Yeah, take it offline. Yes. Thanks.